1492, Christopher Columbus made the greatest geographical mistake in human history. He called the people he met Indians, convinced he'd reached Asia. But here's what will blow your mind. Columbus was accidentally closer to the truth than anyone imagined. Because buried deep in indigenous American DNA lies evidence of ghost ancestors, phantom populations that shouldn't exist from places that shouldn't be possible. What if I told you that some Native Americans carry genetic signatures from Australia, from extinct human species, from populations that vanished without a trace? The DNA doesn't lie, and what it reveals will shatter everything you thought you knew. Think you know where Native Americans came from? That simple story about crossing the Bering Land Bridge? Prepare for shocks that will make your jaw drop. Because when scientists started decoding indigenous DNA, they found something impossible. Genetic ghosts, phantom ancestors who left their mark in the most unexpected places. Signals from the other side of the planet that shouldn't be there. Evidence of journeys that defy logic. This isn't just about migration patterns or academic theories. This is about a cover-up written in our very genes, about populations erased from history, about connections so shocking that some scientists refuse to believe their own data. Every indigenous person alive today carries pieces of this puzzle in their cells, and what those pieces reveal is a story of survival, mystery, and connections that span the entire globe. We're about to decode a genetic timeline that will challenge everything, from underwater civilizations to Antarctic survivors, from Asian ghosts to Australian phantoms, from extinct humans to living mysteries. Let's decode the DNA timeline. Our story begins roughly 25,000 years ago, as the last ice age reached its peak. Massive glaciers up to two miles thick covered much of North America, locking up so much water that sea levels dropped by nearly 400 feet worldwide. This climate catastrophe created an opportunity, a land bridge connecting Siberia to Alaska, opening a gateway to a vast, uninhabited continent. Genetic evidence from a 2018 study published in the journal Cell confirms that around 23,000 years ago, a single founding population from northeastern Siberia crossed this bridge. But their journey wasn't as straightforward as we once thought. For decades, scientists believed these migrants traveled through an inland, ice-free corridor between massive glaciers. But DNA timing doesn't match. The corridor wasn't passable until thousands of years after humans had already reached South America. Instead, groundbreaking research by Dr. Michael Waters suggests they likely traveled along the Pacific coastline using primitive boats to navigate between ice sheets and shorelines, a maritime culture from the very beginning. By 16,000 years ago, these pioneers had reached Chile's Monte Verde site at South America's southern tip moving faster than we ever imagined possible. By 14,000 years ago, they had established the widespread Clovis culture across North America. But this wasn't the end of the story. Much later, only about 5,000 years ago, a second distinct migration from Siberia brought the ancestors of today's Inuit and Aleut peoples. DNA analysis published in Science shows these newer arrivals carry different genetic markers, explaining why modern Inuit people show stronger Asian features than other indigenous groups. But as geneticists sequenced more ancient DNA, they discovered something unexpected. Genetic branches that shouldn't exist, according to the single migration model. Evidence of population splits that occurred after the initial crossing, creating genetic distinctions we still see today. And hidden deeper, almost erased by time, genetic traces of other, unknown ancestors, populations that weren't supposed to be there at all. The first clue came from a skeleton named Kennewick Man, found in Washington State in 1996. Initial physical examinations suggested he looked different from modern Native Americans, more like Polynesians or Europeans. Had there been other, earlier migrations from across the oceans? The answer would shock everyone involved and open the door to an even more mysterious discovery. Around 13,000 years ago, after the initial migration, something critical happened. 
The descendants of those first Americans split into two distinct genetic branches, one northern, one southern, according to a 2018 nature study by Moreno Maillard. This division created the foundation for the incredible diversity we see among indigenous populations today. Over 1,000 distinct cultures and languages that developed across two continents. In the Andes, the Quechua, ancestors of the mighty Inca Empire, developed genetic adaptations to high altitude over thousands of years. Today, roughly 10 million people still speak Quechua languages, making them the largest indigenous group in the Americas. Their DNA tells a story of remarkable adaptation, unique genetic variants that increase oxygen, carrying capacity in the blood, allowing them to thrive at elevations where unacclimatized visitors struggle to breathe. At the opposite extreme, the Yagan people of Tierra del Fuego survived in one of Earth's harshest environments, the frigid islands near Antarctica. Despite temperatures that rarely exceed 50 degrees Fahrenheit, Traditional Yagans wore minimal clothing and smeared their bodies with seal fat for insulation. Their genetic adaptations included heightened metabolism and unique thermoregulation, biological features that astonished European explorers who couldn't survive without heavy clothing in the same conditions. In 2015, genetic analysis of 8,500-year-old Kennewick man revealed something that settled decades of controversy. Despite his unusual physical features, his DNA matched modern Native Americans, not Polynesians or Europeans. This confirmed genetic continuity spanning thousands of years. Modern tribes were indeed descended from the same ancient populations. But as scientists expanded their analysis to South America, they found something that couldn't be explained by the single migration theory. A genetic signal that, according to everything we knew about human migration, simply shouldn't be there. It was a ghost a genetic signature from people who had seemingly vanished from history, yet whose DNA lived on in modern indigenous Americans. A signature that pointed to one of the most remote places on Earth. How could DNA from the South Pacific have reached the Amazon thousands of years before Europeans arrived in the Americas? The answer would challenge everything we thought we knew about ancient human capabilities. In 2015, Harvard geneticist David Reich and his team published a bombshell finding in Nature that they almost didn't believe themselves. Deep within the DNA of certain indigenous groups in the Amazon rainforest, they found a clear genetic signature matching populations from Australia, New Guinea, and the Andaman Islands, places separated from South America by the entire Pacific Ocean. They called this mysterious ancestral group Population Y, for Ipiquera, meaning ancestor in Tupi languages. This genetic signal contributes approximately 1 to 3% of the ancestry in some Amazonian groups, small but unmistakable. The discovery was so unexpected that Reich's team double-checked their work multiple times before publishing. How could Australian-related DNA have reached South America? The Pacific Ocean spans over 8,000 miles between these regions, a seemingly impossible journey for ancient people without modern navigation. In 2018, the mystery deepened. Analysis of 10,000-year-old human remains from Lagoa Santa, Brazil, confirmed the same Australasian genetic signature existed that far back, meaning this wasn't recent admixture. This ghost population had somehow reached South America at least 10,000 years ago. Several theories emerged to explain this genetic ghost. First possibility, ancient Pacific Islanders somehow reached South America thousands of years before Polynesians arrived in Easter Island, completing one of the most remarkable ocean crossings in human history. Second possibility, a branch of the original Beringian migrants carried Australasian-like ancestry when they first entered the Americas, perhaps following a coastal route that kept them isolated from other migrants. Third, and most controversial, the signal represents an even more ancient connection, possibly from now extinct human lineages that carried this genetic signature before modern human populations fully diverged. Supporting evidence comes from Southeast Asia's ancient Hoabinian culture, which shows genetic links to both modern Andamanese islanders and East Asians. Similar connections appear in Japan's ancient Jomon culture, 
suggesting these once widespread populations might have contributed to early American settlement. The most shocking aspect? This Australasian signature appears almost exclusively in South America, virtually absent in North American indigenous populations where we'd expect to find it if it came through Beringia. It's as if these ghost ancestors materialized directly in South America, bypassing North America entirely. A genetic paradox that continues to confound scientists. Even more puzzling. The signal is strongest in interior populations like the Surui and Carishiana of the Amazon, not coastal groups where we'd expect to find it if it came by sea. The evidence points to a startling conclusion. The peopling of the Americas was far more complex than we ever imagined, potentially involving multiple migrations from different regions of the world, using routes we still don't fully understand. This discovery has sparked intense debate within the scientific community, not just about how these ghost ancestors reached the Americas, but about what other hidden chapters of human migration might still be waiting to be discovered. These discoveries have definitively debunked older theories, particularly the Paleo-American model that suggested two separate migrations, one of an earlier non-Asian group followed by the ancestors of modern Native Americans. Instead, genetic evidence confirms all Native Americans descend primarily from the same founding population, with the ghost ancestry representing a minor but significant contribution to certain groups. But a crucial question remains, why don't we find this Australasian signature in North American populations? If these ghost ancestors came through Beringia, their genetic traces should appear throughout the migration route. One sobering possibility. Colonial genocide and disease may have wiped out North American populations that once carried this genetic signature. European colonization reduced indigenous populations by up to 90% in some regions, potentially erasing entire genetic lineages forever. Another factor, sampling limitations and ethical concerns. Many indigenous North American communities remain justifiably suspicious of genetic research given historical exploitation. Without their participation, significant gaps remain in our genetic understanding. As Turtle Mountain Chippewa scholar Dr. Kim Tallbear explains, Indigenous peoples have been mined for data but excluded from the benefits and interpretation of that research for generations. Trust must be rebuilt through true partnership. Many regions remain unsampled or understudied, particularly in sensitive areas with colonial histories. The ghost DNA we've found might just be the first of many hidden ancestry components waiting to be discovered. Further complicating matters, ancient DNA degrades in warm, humid environments like the Amazon rainforest. The very places where this ghost ancestry appears strongest are the most challenging for genetic preservation, meaning we may only be seeing fragments of a much larger story. The truth is, despite cutting-edge technology, we're still reading just fragments of a partially destroyed book. Entire chapters of human migration history may remain forever lost, or await discovery in places we haven't yet looked. These findings raise profound questions about who controls genetic data and who has the right to tell origin stories. Are these scientific narratives complementary to or in conflict with indigenous oral histories that often describe much more complex origins? Many indigenous communities have origin stories describing multiple migrations, connections to distant peoples, and complex movements that science is only now beginning to validate. Perhaps the most shocking revelation isn't what science has discovered, but how often traditional knowledge anticipated these findings. What does this ghost DNA tell us about the true origins of indigenous Americans? Not that the traditional narrative was wrong, but that it was incomplete, a simplified version of a far more complex and fascinating reality. The Americas weren't populated in one simple migration, but through multiple connections across vast distances and challenging environments, showcasing the incredible ingenuity and determination of our ancient ancestors. Today, expanded partnerships between scientists and indigenous communities are revealing even more nuance. A 2023 study involving the Navajo Nation identified previously unknown genetic adaptations 
to high altitude desert environments, discoveries that might lead to medical breakthroughs benefiting all humanity. These ghost ancestors, whether Pacific Islanders who completed epic ocean voyages or branches of ancient Asian populations that took unique migration routes, contributed to the remarkable genetic tapestry we see in indigenous Americans today. Rather than diminishing indigenous connection to the Americas, these discoveries reveal a more profound truth. Native Americans are the living embodiment of humanity's most ambitious journeys, carrying genetic legacies of multiple founding populations who converged to create entirely new civilizations. Their ancestors weren't just the first Americans, they were history's greatest explorers, adapting to environments from Arctic tundra to Amazon rainforest, from high Andean plateaus to Caribbean islands, and possibly completing transoceanic journeys long before Europeans. The search continues for more ghost ancestors and hidden migrations. New sequencing technologies can now extract DNA from increasingly ancient and degraded samples, promising more revelations in coming years. But perhaps the most important revelation isn't scientific at all, it's about identity and belonging. These ghost ancestors don't make indigenous people any less native. Instead, they reveal how deeply indigenous Americans are connected to the entire human story, carrying genetic echoes of journeys so ancient they had been forgotten by history itself. The true origin of indigenous Americans isn't simple. It's a complex, beautiful tapestry of multiple ancestries, incredible journeys, and remarkable adaptations. A living testament to human ingenuity and determination. Could your own DNA hold ghost ancestors waiting to be discovered? What other chapters of human migration remain hidden within our genetic code? The story of human origins continues to evolve with each new discovery. But one thing is certain, we are all connected by journeys more ancient and amazing than we ever imagined. Subscribe for more discoveries that rewrite history. Share your thoughts below on these ghost ancestors. And consider supporting indigenous-led genetic research that puts communities in control of their own ancestral stories. Thanks for watching.